right, here is the video review for Mastermind Creations Exitus. It is, let me skip the number here off the back of the box. I forgot to do it. R47, which is what I would have guessed because um, I had just looked at the box like five minutes ago. R47 Exodus, a.k.a. Getaway. And he is loosely based, actually not loosely based, his core is their uh, their Rodimus mold, their Calidus mold, um, with some serious changes. He looks a little bit more like a shoe, you'll notice. Um, but it's a really nice rendition of Getaway. And Getaway, regardless of how you feel about his actions in the IDW comics, um, I've always dug his design. I've always thought he's had a really neat look and color scheme from the G1 uh, on. And so this is, uh, I'm really digging this. I, I love the blues and the slightly bluish white and the maroon and uh, the orange here and the yellow on his faceplate. But just, just a really nice deco and a really neat design. I did mention he was based off Calidus, although you can see there are some very distinct differences between the two in vehicle mode. Um, this this whole piece right here is separate. He's got some separate little bendable pieces. You can see there's a hinge here to allow these to lift up for vehicle mode. This, the fins are different. Um, this assembly appears to be the same. The cockpits are slightly different shaped. Uh, here are the canopies. Uh, the, you see the whole front end is different um, as well. The, now, he does have... You can see he's got the pipes coming down for his hot rod pipes. He has them, they're, but they're hidden by these covers underneath... Uh, you pop one of these up, which we'll do during transfer. You know what? Sometimes I can't even get these to stay down. But you can see he does still have that that bit of the core. The, the pipes are still there, but they are covered by uh, this piece up here. Now it doesn't want to plug back in. I always have the hardest time getting this to stay together uh, this way. And then when I was trying to get it open, it was being a pain in the butt. But anyway, we're going to need that for transformation anyway. But the same four wheels, the two little wheels back here, although they now have that orange stripe down the middle of them. You can see the shin pieces are are different. Thigh pieces are the same. Cod pieces the same. Uh, the feet are different. The forearms are different. We'll, we'll get into it. Like, he doesn't have the pipes back here. But um, they look good together. And even in the comics, they had similar alt modes, if I recall correctly. So, they have different weapons. But based off the same mold, but very different characters and very cool. I think I've said that enough. Anyway, we'll get on to Exodus himself. He also comes with a little extra piece. This is the hand holding hands from uh, Chrome Dome and Rewind. Nemo and... I uh, can't remember what their names are. But uh, you can see this is now... They were all one solid color before, and now there is a smaller white hand for Rewind and then a larger beige hand for Chrome Dome. So uh, it actually looks like they're holding hands versus having like a solid beige block that originally came with it. So that's nice, a nice little inclusion. Transformation is very similar to Calidus. We'll go ahead and pop the rifle off here. You can see a different mold. It's not his memory eraser gun, but uh, it's a nice little pistol. And there's just the, the bare vehicle mode, which again, really sleek and, uh, and really neat. I really, really like his design. I think I've said that a couple of times already, but there it is. So pop these open and uh, lift this panel up, open these panels and pull front end apart so you can um, pull this uh, this whole assembly back the front from the back here and here you can see where I'm talking about these are on hinges now these pieces are just pegged on here this one's a little loose there's just a little peg here that these go on they they do have a little bit of rotational uh, movement in them and I don't want to glue that on this one's on a little bit more secure I could probably get it off if I wanted to but I don't want to risk gluing that on in case you may want to rotate it a little bit but um but yeah, you can see these are separate pieces here. So do that up, lift this up, so the wheels have room to rotate into the shins. Like that. And like that. And then you can fold. This panel just folds flat against the back of the leg, again covering those pipes there. This piece comes down, and then this piece comes in and tabs onto that little uh, slot there. That tab, there we go. Tabs onto the, uh, the lower shin. And then the feet just flip out, flip out the, the heel, like that. And then this comes up, fold the pipe pieces in, just like you do on Calidus. And then it helps if you rotate the waist just a little bit to get this piece out, because this piece by itself rotates around the waist. Let me lift this up just a smidge so we get the upper part of the robot here. 
while we're doing all this. Come on, lock in place. There we go. So bring that up, fold those in, bring the arms down, they tab on right here. Uh, fold, lift that up, fold the assembly down and pull his head forward up into that little tray. Fold the maroon piece down behind it and lift it back up. So his head's kind of sitting in this collar. And this comes up, make sure that goes on either side of that post, but that's gonna fit in the middle there. Make sure you push this all the way back up. And you want these to line up. Now this is, um, I don't have as much problems with this on Calidus as I do here on Exodus. And it's just, you wanna pull these arms up, these, the, the assembly up, and that peg wants to go in the center of the wheel and there's this little tab that goes into a slot here. Sometimes I can get it to line up and lock in right away. Sometimes it's problematic and you see that just popped off again. But uh, it should stay right there. Um, but you want to get it to, okay, that one locked in. That's the first time that's happened. First try like that. You can now see that little tabs in there. Um, now the trick is, will it, will it go on as easily on the other side? And it looks like it will. If I push it all the way down, you see now, see now that doesn't want to pop into place and lock and it should lock. And it, it was locked in the package. I've locked it since. There we go. Not sure what exactly I did to make that different. Usually that's a lot more of a hassle, so hooray. And then you can bring your shoulders up like that. And then these kind of angle back instead of staying up like this for vehicle mode. I guess you can leave them up if you want them to stick out depending on how you want it, but I like to fold them back like that. And stand them up. He does have some very decisive uh, ratcheting in his hips. Like you can either get them straight or out to the side like that, but there's no in between there. You can kind of, if you're really gentle with it, you can kind of fudge it in between there, but uh, you run the risk of it just popping loose and then knocking the figure over because of the force with which it will pop into that outer or inner detent. And then there's the back. You always got to show them from the back. What are you hiding back there? But anyway, and there's also on his shoulders, these little panels right here, It'll open, untab, and swing out on this upper bit to give him those little getaway wings like that and um and there he is in robot mode give him his gun he's got the same posable fingers and the same articulation as calidus he's got the ball joint at the neck he's got those it's the swivel and the dual hinge there at the shoulder so you can pull him out a little bit to get a little bit more range of motion depending on how you're posing him. Uh, dual hinge elbows there, a bicep swivel as well as a forearm swivel. He does have a wrist swivel there and those aforementioned movable fingers. Waist swivel, uh, very strong ratcheting hips, although again, like I said, I, I wish there was a middle detent here. Uh, front to back, thigh swivel, single hinge knee with a decent range of motion, about 90 degrees. And then you got some front and back and side to side ankle tilt there on Exodus. But yeah, really striking figure. Again, I love I love his head sculpt. I, I mean, just both, uh, again, his general design head sculpt and on this particular figure. Um, and the colors just really are really striking together. Like I said, the white is not a pure white. It's got a slight, a very, very slight bluish tinge to it, which looks really nice in person. It's not quite, almost not quite as dark, but that same kind of effect that uh, animated Ultra Magnus did, if you remember that. But yeah, but 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 a little a, more, more on the white side of that, but still, it, it's, it's just a really neat, not quite white color, and it matches. It just really pops in person and is really nice. Um, here he is with Calidus. Enemies to the end. And I said on Twitter when I got him, I uh, showed it from TF Source the other day, um, that as a figure, Getaway does nothing wrong. It's kind of a play on Getaway did nothing wrong from the comics. It was a rallying cry there for a while. But I will say, there, the, the one issue that I have with Getaway, and it's, it's a minor one, is that... He's a really fantastic retool of Calidus. He is a retool of Calidus who came out a few years back. And again, Calidus, very uh, leading for his time. Like MMC has always had some innovation and uh, 
worked in the posability and, and how many joints and everything with their figures. But he is a little dated at this point for MFC. Like he, he's honestly, th this mold is one of, e even by a lot of today's figure standards, still a really decent mold. But when you look at uh, the heiress they just showed off and a figure like Optus Pexis that MSC is doing, they keep pushing the envelope. And because of that, this remold of a much older figure shows its age uh, more so than it would have had they not put out something like Optus Pexis. It's fantastic. Like I said, I like Getaway. I like his design. He looks really good on the shelf next to Calidus here. And he even looks good on the shelf with Optimus. I mean, like, MMC figures are generally nice display pieces. It's just, like I said, there's just a little bit of a... This feels like a figure from two or three years ago, because it is. So, has it been longer than that? Man, time's really flying by. But, um, but all in all, I think he's distinct enough from, uh, there's some figures that when you, when they're remolded, they're so similar that it's hard to, um, you know, sometimes you might just get like a new head sculpt or something and it feels different and the colors make it feel different, but it's still the same, the same basic figure. And Exodus here does a lot different from Kalidus, despite sharing the same base transformation that it really feels like an entirely different mold slash character. And, uh, as, as being, being one of my favorite uh, color schemes and designs on a figure, having a, the getaway version of it is really cool. But yeah, another solid offering from Mastermind Creations, re regardless of how you feel about his character in the comics. Um, there it is, uh, MMC reformatted R47 Exodus.